want to do show you something real quick, something that actually helped me with Final Cut, and um, yeah, I wish I, I knew that information before. So it's actually all related to working with images, and what exactly? So first of all, uh, let me show. You. Let let me pick some some of the images I have. Um, I have here. Let me see. Just for example, something generated with the eye. Uh, we can have this right, and we move them to a timeline. So could be anything. We could go with 4K, for example, right? So we have some images here, so we are good. So what we what we might need, uh, first of all, you can see that each image duration, in my case, um, is five seconds. You can see it. And you might want to change the default image duration, or it's called still image duration. So for that, you go to Final Cut, Preferences, then you go to Editing, and you can you see the still image so just change it to any any value you need and so then very next time when you drop some images in your timeline you will see it's like the default still image duration will change to whatever you need but i will keep five seconds in my case um the other thing that i wish i knew so let's say i need to change this let's say four image durations, like to something different. So like multiple image durations, but not all of them, only these four, just for example. So I can click Ctrl D and you can see that you, you, you see those numbers now here. So I could change it to something, let's say faster a little bit. So I type three dot um, 25, let's say. And you could see that they are a bit shorter now. So now, but only those you can see I also can apply the same duration for all of them actually. So I could do again when I select when I selected all of them, I press Ctrl D and you could see they changed the color here. So now you could type like 315. So let's say this is number two. Number three kind of item that I, I wish I knew before is how to change transitions like for all of the items, like for all of the images. Uh, so to do that, it's so actually easy. So let's uh, come up with one, let's say this simple one. So just select all the images you want to apply the transition and just double click at the transition you need. That's all. That's all. So now if we run it, if you play it, we can see that it works. And the last thing probably is actually to to make the image fit and move somehow or zoom, you can select the image, go here to crop and go to this, the, the last item here. And you could, you can see now this red and green um, elements that allow you to actually select the, the array, like when to start, you can see it, and then when to finish. So you could change it whatever you want. So if we start now the the video, you can see it looks much better. But then the, the other question we have, how to apply the same, the same for all of my images. So what I would do, I would just command C, I would just copy everything. From, like I copy the first video, and, oh, sorry, the first image. Then I select all the other and I use command shift V. And that's all I need. And so now if we go to my video, just let's play it. Imagine there is some nice music and it's it's already pretty nice, right? At least I would say so. Yeah, that's it. When working with images, those a few tips really helps me and I hope it will help you as well.